We are in Backup Exec 2012. I'm going to show you how to set up a deduplication device. There's a couple of different ways to do that. Deduplication allows backup to not have to backup the same files over and over. It picks one file and then creates pointers to that file from all the different places where that file is stored. This saves a lot of storage space, but it also increases the amount of RAM and processor usage that is used. So there's high requirements for a deduplication device if it's local to the computer. If it's remote, then the remote device is the one that requires a lot of that. So we'll click on storage. We'll click on configure storage. And from here, if we decide to use an open device, we click on network storage and click next. Click open storage. And then from here, you have to have an open storage device on another uh, computer or through the internet. So our other option is to click disk based storage if it's local. We'll go ahead and click the deduplication disk storage and then next. Call it whatever you'd like. Acknowledge this warning saying this does not meet the minimum requirements. So this particular computer has 8 gigabytes of RAM but it still doesn't meet the requirements because it needs one and a half gigabytes for every terabyte that's used plus eight gigabytes of free physical memory on top of that. So we need to have a lot more than what uh, is currently on this computer. But we can still set it up anyway. Next, you can create the, the new device based on one of your drives that are attached. From here, you cannot choose the system logon account. You're going to have to use a different logon account. So I already have one all set up. From here, we can enable the encryption or not. Of course, encryption will add additional processor cycles, but it does make it more secure. Next, and then the concurrent write operations, the default is two. Uh, if you have a lot of drives in a RAID 5 or 10 configuration, you could increase that. If you have a single drive by itself, then two is probably the most you want to go with, so you don't overwhelm the hard drives. Next, and then you can review and then click finish, and your device is all set up and ready to be used.